Hello, welcome to the video on uh, the triangle sum conjecture where you need to find angles that have variables in them. Um, like I said in this video, all you're going to do is you're going to work with your triangle sum conjecture that basically says uh, triangles have 180 degrees in them if you add up their angles. So if I add these three angles up, or these three angles up, or these three angles up, I should always get 180. Um, so let's see how it's done. For these problems, I'm always want, I'm gonna want you to find what x is and then plug it in to find out what a is. I will want x and I will want uh, what the actual angles measure is. So in this particular problem, like I said, if you add these three up, you should get 180. So it doesn't matter which one you write down first, but you have to write down one of them. So I'll start with maybe my x plus 59. x plus 59 plus one of these other two. Maybe I'll write 70 next. And then plus 65 plus x. If I add those together, I should get 180 every single time. After you do that, all you have to do is combine like terms. I see 1x and 1x, that's 2x. I see 59 and 70, that's 129. 129 plus 65 should give me 194. And then that should equal 180. Okay, so again, I combine my x's to get this, combine these three to get this. Uh, at that point, since I'm adding 194, I'll subtract it. Make sure those are both sides. Canceling out the 194s. 2x comes down. 180 minus 194 is negative 14. And then I still have to get x alone. This is what 2 times x is, so I divide by 2. And by dividing by 2, I find out that x is negative 7. So I'm almost done. I still have to plug x in. I want to know what angle A is. So instead of 65 plus x, now it says 65 plus negative 7. And 65 plus negative 7, that means this is 58 degrees. I should plug it in here as well, just to be sure I'm doing it right. Instead of x plus 59, now it's negative 7 plus 59. So... Negative 7 plus 59 is 52. And just to be sure that I did this right, I want to make sure that these three angles add up to 180. 52 and 58 is 110. 110 plus 70 is 180. This problem is totally done right. A is 58 degrees. Your second example is pretty much the same thing, except now you see I have extra lines. Uh, this example is where you have to use linear pairs of vertical angles to get all of your angles inside the triangle first. Right now, you just have this one inside. I need this angle, and I need this angle. Hopefully, you would see that right away, you've got a linear pair right here. Okay, These two angles form a straight line together, so they have to add 180. So if this is 85, this must be 180 minus 85. 180 minus 85 is 95. So I've got one angle inside, another one. I've got two so far. I need this last one. Well, hopefully here, you saw that two lines have crossed. And when two lines cross, they give us this really nice pattern where this is the same as this, and this is the same as this. So if this is 5x plus 15, so is this. My 5x plus 15 can go right in here. So now I've got all three inside, and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did here. I'm going to add all three of these together in whatever order I want to, and they have to equal 180. So I'll start with this. 7 plus 2x. Let me put a line here so you guys don't get confused. 7 plus 2x plus the next one, 5x plus 15 plus the last one, 95. And it has to equal 180. Notice I'm not adding the 85 because that's outside the triangle. I'm not adding this 5x plus 15 again because it's outside the triangle. Just the 3 inside. And then, as per usual, combine like terms, solve. 2x plus 5x is 7x. Those are all my x terms. Then all my non-x terms, positive 7, positive 15, positive 95. 15 and 95 is 110. 110 plus 7 is 107. So that equals 180. And then I just have one step left. Or I'm sorry, two steps left. Subtract the 107. Canceling those. I get 7x is equal to 73. Hmm. I think I made a slight miscalculation. Let me see one more time. If 
5 x plus 15, 7 plus 2 x, 85, 2 x and 5 x is 7 x, 7 is 22. Oh, that's 117. I'm sorry. I knew that wasn't working right. 180 minus 117. Sorry. Again, this is 117 because it's 7 plus 15 plus 95. And since I'm a dope, I said it's 107. It's really 117. 180 minus 117, that's 63. Now this should work out nicely. Before I was going to get a decimal that I didn't want, now it should work. And I would have known if I did it wrong uh, when I got to the end and I got X and I plugged it back in. When I plug that incorrect X in, these three won't add up to 180 and I'd see that I did something totally wrong. But I caught it early so I don't have to worry about that. So here, uh, since it's 7 times X, divide by 7. You get x is 9. And then again, we plug it back in. So I want to know what this is. This says 7 plus 2x. Well, now it says 7 plus 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 7. I know that a is now 25 degrees. This one is 5 times x plus 15. So it's really 5 times 9. 45. 45 plus 15. This is 60 degrees. So if I check this. 25 and 95 is 120, 120 plus 60 is 180. It works. That's good. Uh, one more example, and I think I'm just going to set that up because I think I'm running short on time on this one. Um, I'll solve the whole thing. Same deal. This is the same as this, so this is x plus 68. This is 96. This is 96. So quickly we solve it, add these up. x plus 68 plus 96 plus x plus 40. It should equal 180. And then I combine like terms. 1x plus 1x is 2x. Uh, 96 and 40, that gives me 136. 136 plus 68 is, uh, let me see here. That's 144, 144, and it's uh, 204. should be using the calculator that you can probably see in my back pocket, but I'm being silly. So at this point, you want to get rid of the 204, so subtract it. Canceling these. I'm left with 2x equals 180 minus 204, that's negative 24. And then I divide by 2. You find out x is negative 12. Let's check it, make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Negative 12 plus 68. That's 56, so this angle is 56 degrees. Uh, this one should be negative 12 plus 40, that should be 28 degrees. And 28 plus 56 plus 96, I do believe is 180. 96 plus 28 is 124. 124 plus 56 is perfectly 180. So that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Even either leave a comment on the box, email me, Talk to me in class. Any one of those works, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And that'll do it. Have a great day.